Hello you guys, good morning, welcome to a new vlog. So today's weekly vlog is more of just like a full really busy day in my life because this week kind of got away from me. I'm gonna show you guys some footage from yesterday actually, um, a little bit later in the vlog, but we're prepping to go on a trip. We are going to North Carolina, which is kind of random. Um, we don't really have any connections to North Carolina or anything like that, but my family wanted to go on just a vacation, like just my parents, my brother, and me and Leif. And um, we were just like kind of thinking about different places we could go somewhere in the States. My mom had said that recently one of her friends had gone to North Carolina and had a really good time. And we were like, hey, let's just do it. So we're going to North Carolina. We're staying at just like a really cool Airbnb, kind of a cabin vibe. And I think it'll be really nice to kind of disconnect, hang out. I will be vlogging, so I'll take you guys through our trip. This week has kind of just been a little bit crazy. We had a big photo shoot yesterday, which like I said, I'll show you footage of. We've just been prepping to get ready for this trip and a bunch of other random work stuff that's been taking a lot of my time time plus fertility appointments so it's been kind of just a lot but yeah I wanted to officially start this vlog and I'm gonna take you guys through my busy day today because we leave tomorrow early in the morning so we have to get a lot of different stuff ready my house is messy are we surprised no um, whenever I just get like a bunch of PR packages this has become the spot that like they just live it's like over on this little area I really don't like it because it just always feels very cluttered, so I really need to clean that up. Chelsea's coming over later for a podcast episode, so like all of our podcast stuff is out. I just feel like everything's like very cluttered and I need to pack. But yeah, I've just been doing some work stuff. I was just um, editing a video. I don't know why it takes me so long to like edit YouTube videos, edit a thumbnail, and upload them. Like, does that take anyone else so long if you do YouTube? Because I'll just be like, oh yeah, that'll be a quick thing. Like, I just need to cut through it and then, I don't know, like I'll just upload it and do a thumbnail really quick and then like the thumbnail, finding photos for it, I'm just like, this is like, why does this take me so long? Even just like upload and do the thumbnail and the title and description, I'm like, I don't know if this is should take this long. So anyway, I've been working on that. Like most of the morning, had to send in a podcast episode, got a chai, this one is huge, but today's busy day, so. I'm gonna get ready, put some makeup on, take out my AirPods, I love them so far. If you didn't see my last vlog, I got new AirPods because mine have been lost for like months. Can't find them anywhere. So I decided to get a new pair and yeah, we're gonna do some makeup right now. Get ready for the day. Going for a natural look today. I still need to record my summer makeup routine. I think you guys will like it, it's really simple. I'm so excited because I've been talking to you guys a lot about how Danny has like styled some outfits for me. We talked about it for like the past few vlogs. I have some to show you today, so I'm gonna pack some of these outfits that she styled for me. These ones are all from Princess Polly and they are so so cute. So Princess Polly is sponsoring today's video. Super grateful for that. And I'm really excited because I've been wanting to wear these outfits ever since I got them. I mean, I got them only a few days ago. But it was so exciting getting the package, especially because some of the things aren't things that I would have maybe like seen on the site and chosen. But it's so it's like a little bit outside of my comfort zone. But I think they will be so, so cute on. And also because I don't always know how to like style a full outfit the best. Like I can find cute pieces I like, but it's like the putting together that's the hard part for me. I will have a discount code for you guys for Princess Polly that you guys can use if you want any new summer pieces. Um, a bunch of my friends have worked with Princess Polly and I feel like I see all the time on TikTok, like people will be doing outfits of the day or whatever and they'll be like, my top's from Princess Polly, my bottoms are from Princess Polly. So I've heard so much about this brand. I've actually ordered from them before multiple times. So they just have really, really cute stuff, especially for summertime right now. They just have so much stuff. So um, I actually used my friend's code to order a little bit ago and now I have a code. So I'm super excited to give it to you guys. I'm gonna do like a little try on haul and just show you guys the outfits. Okay, the first outfit is a really comfy outfit that is very JC-esque. 
all of these are obviously my style. It's just so comfy. I'm thinking about just wearing this for the rest of the day. I also have these glasses that I thought would be cute and like take it up just a little bit of a notch. But yeah, these shorts are like kind of a, almost like a towel fabric or something. They're really, really comfy. They're flattering. This little Looney Tunes shirt I think is so cute. It reminds me of just like a vintage t-shirt. It's a really good fit and super comfy. Next outfit is very groovy. I love this so much. See, this is an example, this pink top, it's really cute. It's a scarf top, so you can style it in a ton of different ways. This is an example of something that I'd be like, oh, I just don't know how to style that, so like I wouldn't get it. But I think it's so cute with this shirt over it. This little button up, do you guys say button up or button down? I like alternate, but anyway, this shirt is the cutest color and pattern. I feel like it'd be really cute over a swimsuit too. And then I just have baggy jeans with it and this little blue purse. And then I think these sunglasses are so cute. I feel like I'm living out my early 2000s dream in this outfit. These colors are so cute. Next up, we have this really cute neutral look. Love this two-toned purse. Perfect for any neutral outfit. This button up is really, really cute. Love the pattern. I just have a white tank underneath with some gold jewelry, some sunglasses, and then these pants. I'm gonna try and back up. I don't have like an amazing place to do a full, maybe I can zoom this out a little bit to do like a full outfit or a full body, but these pants are really cute. I'm trying to talk loud. Um, they're super flattering. They're a little bit long on me just because I'm short, but I actually kind of like the baggier look, so I think they look really cute. They're very just like soft and great quality. And then these shoes, I feel like are gonna be just like my shoes of the summer, basically, because they're neutral, they're the chunky flip-flop vibe, and they are so perfect. And I hope they're still available when I'm posting this because they literally will go with everything and they're so cute with like baggier jeans or Honestly, whatever you want to wear them with. I love the color and I just think they're really, really perfect. We love a neutral moment. This outfit is the one that I was saying is like a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I think it's really cute. I rarely wear dresses or skirts. Anyway, I've been kind of branching out and buying a few more dresses and skirts here and there. And this is just like a really cute pink skirt. I love this top, very early 2000s. It says, all you need is love, has a really cute butterfly. This little green zebra top is so cute. It's like really thin, nice fabric. I feel like it would, again, be really cute over like a swimsuit or anything else you wanted to wear it over. And then I have the cute little butterfly clips, which I put in really fast just to show you guys like with this outfit. I think I might even put them up a little bit more and I just did this super quick, but the butterfly cl clips are back in everyone and I used to wear these as a kid. I don't know who else did, but they're super cute and the butterfly with the butterfly. Okay, and lastly, this might be my favorite look, honestly. Now that I'm trying it on all together, I think it is so cute. I absolutely love these colors. I obviously love pink. I love the neutrals and the browns. I just think this is so pretty. This top is a really, really cute pattern and then this is a really beautiful just button up. And I have on these pink baggy jeans, which are really, really cute. I love the color of these. And then also the flip-flops, which I love so much. And again, I'm gonna be wearing so much this summer. And you can wear whatever bag. I thought this one was cute because it kind of ties in the brown from the top. But um, I feel like this is a really cute like lunch or dinner outfit. And I really like it. I did a slick back pony because I feel like that kind of matches the vibe. But anyway, I love these outfits so much. I'm so excited to be wearing these. So if you guys want to order anything from Princess Paula, you can always use my code. It's JC20 for 20% off your order. They also have free express shipping on orders over 50 bucks. And the express shipping is three to four days. So you can get your stuff pretty fast. They also offer afterpay, which is really nice. So you don't have to pay the full amount upfront. You can pay in increments. If you guys want some new summer clothes, use my code. I think they have the cutest stuff and now I just wanna go out to lunch or brunch or something, but I have to keep packing and cleaning my house. So this was a fun little moment for me to show you all my cute styled outfits and go check them out if you're interested. Lunch time. So I just ordered from Sun Cafe. Did I not bring a fork over here? Dang it. Ooh, this looks really good. I ordered their broccoli pesto pasta. It's super good and a green juice. Stir this up. Thank you. 
Wait, show everyone your hair now so you can show them an after. I still don't know what I'm doing with it. He's gonna get a haircut today in like an hour or something. Oh, you need to leave actually kind of soon, don't you? Yeah. So Leif's leaving to get his hair cut and we'll see what the after looks like now that you saw the before. You've been growing out your hair for a while. Like it's been a while since you've gotten a haircut, huh? Yeah. And now we pour over ice. Oh yeah, baby. Oh no. I love being a dummy. This is actually good. It's refreshing. I love this pasta. I've decided I'm officially, officially a pasta over pizza person. I love pasta. Which one would you pick, Leif? Actually, I already know. Pizza. I just point to the spill of the juice from the straw and Leif goes and gets a paper towel. All right, this is what my room currently looks like as I try and pack. I'm getting all my outfits together. I think I'm gonna pack this time like each outfit together instead. A lot of times I'll just pack like all my bottoms together, all my tops, all my hats or whatever. But this time I think I might pack like by outfit just because I feel like it might, you know, keep it all together easier. This looks messy, but each thing is like broken down. This is actually another Princess Polly dress. That is so cute that I'm gonna wear on the trip. Got lots of stuff. I'm gonna insert the clips from yesterday's shoot right here so you guys can see what it was all about. Hello, just wrapped a really exciting shoot for Balance Boss. Check it out. More coming. I'm so excited about all this. We just finished, so we rented out this studio. It's a really pretty natural light studio. We just finished shooting. Tyson was here. Um, and we rented it for like five hours, and I'm so surprised at how much we got done. And we actually are getting out of here with like, we, we shot all the things we wanted to shoot, so I'm very proud of us. Got all of our crap here. The gang's all here. And yeah, I want to show you guys more, but I need to wait just a little bit. So there's your sneak preview, and I'll show you the rest of the stuff very soon. It's coming to Balance Boss, going to be available to purchase, and it's so cuter than I could have ever imagined. Like when we thought of this idea, it turned out so much better than we even planned. So I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on this stuff. I'm wearing this really cute zip up from Aritzia and these shorts from Aritzia as well that I got last minute for the shoot and they're very comfy. Ooh. Some people have been asking if you still work for me. Oh really? <laughs> because you haven't I'm been in the vlog. I'm glad people care about me. Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank she you. still I works know. for me. She's still here. My I've been a little gal. worried if I still work for JC honestly. We're eating some lunch right now. Got some Mendocino Farms. I got this like smoky chicken bowl thing that I've had once before. It's like they have new grain bowls and they're really good. And Beth got the impossible taco salad. It's the same thing I always get. Basic. It's really good. Delicious. Though. I get that a lot too because it's so good. It really is so good. I just love Mendocino Farms. I was FaceTiming my family the other day and I was eating a salad and my mom's like, where's that from? And I told her Mendocino Farms. She's like, oh, I'm so jealous because they don't have it in Arizona, but it's so good. Also, yeah, don't bully me. I know there's a freaking Goodwill sticker on there, okay? There's a reason it's still on there. I was gonna do a DIY TikTok and show the price that I got it for, blah, blah, blah. Have I done it? No. Will I do it while I live here? I don't know. <laughs> because it seems like a lot of work, but stop bullying me. Thank you. It's time for a taste test of the Olipop orange cream. This is my favorite. This is limited edition, guys. They have an orange squeeze one that's also really good, but. I had to take my hair down for this. <laughs> We're getting cuter. We're getting serious. Okay. Okay, that's good. Do you like it? That's good. It's really good. That's, that's actually my favorite really one. tasty. I think in the last oh, vlog, I literally showed you a, a like package of 15 of these and they're already gone. Yeah, that's your last one. Okay, do we think it's a crazy idea to be bringing three books on my trip? My trip, it, trip is gonna last, it's like a week and a half. So I already started reading the guest list, so I definitely wanna bring that one. And then I want to bring Then She Was Gone because obviously I already bought it. I could just bring my Kindle, you know, and it's just like so small and it's easy to travel with. But it's like I already bought these books, so I don't want to now buy additional books on my Kindle. But then I was thinking that I should bring this book, which is like more of a self-help type of like a business book in case I want a break from like the fiction stories, you know, but these are kind of bulky and heavy to bring, so I don't know if that's smart. What if I don't even finish the first book, like the guest list book? I just don't know, I have a feeling that I could 
spend a lot of time reading but at the same time I'm gonna be with my family and it's like maybe we'll be like doing stuff all the time so I won't have that much free time you know I think I just answered my own question I don't think I'm gonna bring this one because this is like a thriller novel and I already have one of those and I just barely started it so I'll just give myself that one and then maybe I'll bring this like business type book and then this one can be saved for when I get home here is the progress this side is pretty much all packed still need to maybe throw a few things in there this little sweat set i'm gonna wear to the airport tomorrow my little vlog tripod i need to hang these up i just need a little bag to put this in and some other stuff for the plane i wanted to end this vlog by doing like a little mini q a i haven't really done like a q a in a while definitely not on youtube well Chelsea and I filmed a Q&A, but it was very niche. It was like body positivity, self-confidence kind of themed. And so I haven't done a kind of life update Q&A in a while on Instagram or YouTube. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll have people ask me some questions and I can answer them for you. I'm sitting in a random corner in my house because the lighting is so harsh over where I was going to film. So here we are sitting on the ground. Does anyone else sit on the ground all the time to do their makeup and stuff like that? Because I definitely do. Wait, do you want to show them your haircut, Leif? Leif tried something new today, and I think it's really cute. It's like a little bit different than anything he's done, but it looks really good. This lighting's kind of tricky. We're just both in corner. Well, there's the vibe, kind of. It looks cute. It's like shorter on the sides, kind of faded in the back, and then kind of more a little down on the forehead more than usual. But it looks really cute. I really like it on you. Thanks. I know it's new and different, but do you want to be a part of my Q&A? We have to say bye to Lady tonight. We had to drop her off. You're going to a babysitter, huh? We always get so sad to leave Lady. It's like a child. I mean, I know it's nothing compared to a child, I'm sure, but it feels like just our little baby. <laughs> and then when we have to drop her off, she gets like really, she's a little socially anxious. We should talk about this actually how she cries when yeah she will literally cry and it's like so sad but then within five minutes she's totally fine and she usually does she does great every single time actually but she's just a little bit socially anxious this is what i was going to say lady is the smartest dog she's so obedient so smart totally potty trained learns new tricks really fast and she's so snuggly and fun with us but then with other people she is so socially anxious and like skittish and just scared of people and of dogs for the most part. Depends. But once she knows you, she's totally fine and she'll like come up and snuggle with you. But if she doesn't know you, she's so just like timid. And I don't know. We're like, did we just not socialize her enough when she was a puppy? Or did we not take her out enough? We think she could have potentially been like taken from her mom a little too early. And so she has like social anxiety. I don't know. But we we're wondering, we're trying to find like maybe some sort of training to take her to because she's insanely smart and we know she can learn really fast and it's kind of hard once your dog's like already older, she's already three years old to like train them to now like not be shy or something, but I feel like it's possible. So we've been, we haven't really looked into it, I guess, but we just like thought about it. Yeah. Be nice. Because it would be nice for her to just for us to not worry about that like whenever first of all She's so cute obviously so people are always like can I touch her can I pet her and she's just like so like It doesn't want to be touched and we're like sorry like <laughs> or she'll just like kind of growl or bark and we're like sorry <laughs> She turns into like a different yeah when she's with us. She's like the best dog in the world She's not aggressive at all. Like she's never bit anyone or anything like that. She just gets really nervous. It's weird anyway all right, I gotta pack. Oh, okay. What is your hair routine? How often do you wash your hair, etc.? Is it etc. or etc.? I wash my hair like two to three times a week. My hair gets very greasy, like it's greasy right now, uh, but I've just been waiting. I was gonna shower either tonight before the flight or I might wait until we get to North Carolina and then shower the night we get there. I'm not sure yet, or like wash my hair, I mean. I usually wash my hair two to three times a week. I'm like trying to not wash it as often because I feel like the more I wash it, it's like the, it gets greasy faster. I don't do a lot to my hair, honestly. I don't put heat on it a ton. I guess I air wrap it like maybe once a week or sometimes twice a week or just like blow dry it, but I don't really like curl my hair or I sometimes straighten it, but like, I feel like I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm explaining all the things I do to my hair, but. I feel like I don't put that much heat on it and the Dyson Airwrap has not damaged my hair at all. I feel like with other 
things like I've gotten blowouts before where you know it makes your hair all have all this volume but it like literally fried my hair off to where I had little baby hairs and the air wrap I've been using for months now and it does not do that to me at all so I really really like it and I highly recommend it um, but that's like the only heat I put on my hair and I feel like my hair has just like grown so much it actually feels like I have long hair now which I'm shocked by I take hair gummies I also take prenatals so I feel like my hair has just been growing and it's like just been looking pretty healthy lately. I feel like I dye it probably like two to three times a year. Like every, would that make sense? Yeah, like every four months or something, I'll usually dye it more red. So you can probably see my roots right now. I don't know because my hair is really greasy, so it just might all be blending in. Do you see yourself raising a family in California? I don't know if I see us here forever. I can totally see having a kid here. I can totally see having multiple kids here. I don't know if like it's where we're gonna be for the long haul where like that's where our family like all of our kids are raised and we stay here until we're old i have no idea but i don't not see it like i don't think that would be completely out of the question but i could also see us moving to arizona maybe after we had a few kids or something at this current moment i don't really want to leave california but i have no idea i am open to anything life has just taught me that you can't always make plans and they're not always gonna happen perfectly how you want them to so it's kind of like you just have to let go of that control a little bit i feel like i've seen so many people recently like make big life changes where they move across the country or they move somewhere new and they never thought they would do that but you know whatever time in their life it just seems like that's that's what feels right to them so i'm open to anything i have no idea once i get pregnant how i'll feel i have no idea once we start having kids if i'll want to move back to arizona if i will want to live here i don't know but i've always kind of pictured having like one or two kids at least in california that's just what i picture so we'll see do you consider yourself a jealous person when it comes to being in a relationship no i would not consider myself a jealous person i don't know that i've ever really been a jealous type in a relationship but i feel like that i don't want to say it's the other person's fault because obviously you have to take ownership over like your own emotions and stuff but like life has never given me any reason to be a jealous person or to feel insecure you know because jealousy comes from insecurity so when you're feeling insecure you feel like you're not good enough or that you know they might like someone else that's when i feel like jealousy kicks in and maybe in high school here and there i felt jealous you know in certain ways i think definitely um but now that i'm just like more secure with myself obviously i'm married now and Leif has never once given me a reason to be jealous or feel insecure because he just makes me feel so good all the time so Truly, I do not feel that I'm a jealous person. I don't feel that Leif is a jealous person. And I feel like that's a really good, healthy relationship is to really have not much like jealousy or negativity because of like insecurity. You just want to be with someone who makes you feel amazing, you know? Are you still looking for a house to buy? No, we are actually not right now because this market is crazy and it's just so expensive to buy a house. Point blank period, it's millions of dollars in California to buy the homes that we've been looking at and the market is just crazy right now and we don't feel like it's the right time. A lot of people I feel like still think we live in an Airbnb. We're renting this home for six months. That's gonna be over in a few months now because we've lived here for a few months. I guess we've lived here for probably like half the time now. So once our rent is over, we're not sure if we're going to talk to the, the people who own this house. They're really awesome. We don't know if we're going to ask like, hey, can we extend our lease or our rental agreement? Because we absolutely love living here. So I could see us doing that. Um, if we found something else to rent, I guess that we really liked, I don't see us buying a house in the next few months. I don't even know if I see us buying a house this year, which at the beginning of this year, I totally did. I was like, oh, we're definitely gonna buy a house this year. And now I'm just kind of like, I don't think it's the right time. And this market is so crazy. Even if we did want to buy a house in Arizona, like it would still be so expensive just because of how just jacked up all the prices are so you know no one ever knows exactly what's gonna happen everyone has different ideas but i just feel like in my gut it doesn't feel like the right thing to be like house hunting right now so we'll see i'm so excited for the day when we can house hunt and buy a house and renovate it or if it's already great then we don't have to whatever i'm so excited for that process i was like 
so into pinning things for my dream home like I have so many ideas and so much inspo so I am so excited for that day and I will obviously take you guys along on the journey but I just feel like it's not right now which is kind of sucks because I thought it was going to be but that's just the reality so we'll see again anything could change who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow the next month I don't know so I'll keep you guys in the loop when we do start house hunting again and take you guys along for that process because I think it'll be really fun. How did you gain confidence to just post on TikTok? I love it. Thank you, first of all. My friends, like my closest friends and family members would always be like, oh, the internet doesn't really know the real you that's like really funny and you know, jokes around a lot and doesn't take life too seriously. Leif would always tell me like, oh, I think people see you as, yeah, like a fun girl, but maybe more of a serious person who is like business oriented and like very motivational. And while I do have that side of me, like a majority of my days are spent like making the dumbest jokes you've ever heard and just like being stupid. So I feel like I just kind of wanted to like show more of my personality, I guess, and just not even like to show anyone anything, just to like be more myself and be like, oh, I don't have to take, take social media so seriously. I think I've been inspired a lot by other people I follow who are just totally themselves and will do things that maybe are like a little like, oh, what the heck, you're posting that? But it's like, it's so genuine to them that you can't help but just love them for it. And so I've been inspired by a lot of people who are just really real on social media and they just show their true authentic self and their humor and everything. And it really has inspired me to kind of just do the same and become a little bit, just let loose, I guess, a little bit and just be more myself, which, I am a fun person that jokes around a lot. So I just want to be able to like be true to myself. And I just realized life isn't that serious. Like straight up social media, yes, it's my job. Yes, I take it seriously to a degree, but I just wanna have fun. And I think that's all anyone really wants is to live a fun, happy life. And I've just been like, why can't I make the dumbest TikToks you've ever seen and also teach a business course? Like, I don't see why those things can't just live together. Like, that's my personality and that's who I am. I'm passionate about all of these different things. And I just wanna be able to be myself. So that's the long answer to that question. Okay, I'll end with this one. Do you think you've become more transparent on social media over time? I feel like I have, kind of like I was just saying, I think I've just grown into a more I just know who I am more now. I started social media when I was in high school. And so I've literally grown up doing this as a job and putting myself out there on the internet. And I definitely think that I've become more transparent in the way that now I know who I am and I feel comfortable just like talking a little bit more openly about certain things because before maybe I didn't really know how I felt or I was just young and I didn't wanna say something stupid. And now I'm just more secure in who I am. So I'm willing to be a little bit more open even about all the fertility stuff, I could have never imagined a few years ago, like talking about this stuff online because I would have felt like I was a failure. I would have felt embarrassed, even though absolutely that's not the case for anyone going through it. But I definitely feel like I've become more transparent. But that being said, I wanna say that like, it's weird because I feel like because being an influencer or having your life online is a newer type of job, a lot of people can't really wrap their head around the fact that it is a job and it's your career it's how you make your full-time living and life and work really is like it's hard to find that balance of what to share what to not share and a lot of people are super transparent and super open which i think is amazing and other people i have friends that are very very private and it's like they post beautiful photos but a lot of people don't know what's going on in their personal life and i really don't think either is bad i i really don't and people are always like you need to show the bad parts of your life but i completely disagree like People should show what they're comfortable with, period. They're not required or obligated to show anything they don't want to because this is their livelihood. It's not just like, you know, a fun thing that they're doing. And I feel like a lot of people just, I don't know, like want influencers to share certain information. I recently saw someone be like, why aren't influencers more open about what they get paid? And it's like, do you tell, do you walk around and tell everyone how much money you make? Like, it's just when you have thousands of people who are taking in your content, like sometimes you do wanna be more private about things because it's like, wh why would I just be telling you guys like how much money I made this week? You know what I mean? Not that anyone's expecting that, but some people do. Some people are like, you need to be more transparent. Like you need to show people, you know, this and that or the behind the scenes when really you just should share what you're comfortable with. And that's where I've kind of come to the conclusion. Like I said, I would never have imagined sharing 
more intimate details of my life like this fertility stuff and the only reason I started to share is because I was inspired by other people who were open about things like that that really helped me when I was going through it silently when no one else knew and so now I feel like I just want to be that for other girls out there other people who are going through that because I know a lot of people have been following me for a long time and maybe they're going through it at the same time as me and you know they can kind of think of me as a friend who can help them through this and so I don't know where I went where I'm like going with all of this but I just think just let people share what they want to share and if they don't share certain things that's completely their choice and it's their business and it's just no one's place to judge at all and just share what you want to share on social media if you want to be super open and transparent I think that's amazing and it can really be powerful and it can be helpful to a lot of people but if you want to just post pretty photos and that's what you're passionate about and you want to just like live a private life, then I think you should absolutely do that. Period, sis. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it wasn't a typical weekly vlog. I just had a crazy week and I still wanted to vlog today and get something up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. We're on the road to 100K. What is it? Click the notification bell. Literally, I still don't know, but you know, do all the stuff you need to to get notified when I have a new video out if you want to. And yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. I love you and I will see you next time. Goodbye. I wanna call your phone, tell you what you did wrong.